Today we're giving you a first look at one of our newest floor plans that offers over 500 square feet, two private bedrooms, and everything you need to live comfortably in a tiny home on wheels. Welcome to the Orca Edition. In my opinion, the best part about this home is simply the 528 square feet of living space. And that's thanks to the 12 by 44 foot trailer chassis this home is built upon. The exterior of the home was optioned with the LP smart side siding and topped off with a metal Duraclad roof. The front of the home includes two separate entrances and of course around the back side of the home is where you're gonna find all of your traditional hookups for the house. When you walk through the front door of the home, you step into the kitchen and the living space. And it's so spacious in here, it almost doesn't feel like a tiny home. Almost. The kitchen is a perfect blend of ample storage space and functionality. And though this is a tiny home, you'll notice that you don't get tiny appliances. Beneath the countertop here, you actually get a full-size residential dishwasher, which is super nice to have. Above the cooktop here, you get a full-size microwave. And then across from me, you get a full-size residential fridge. The only thing in here that isn't a residential size is the oven. But keep in mind, this was a custom build, and if you wanted a residential oven and stovetop here, you could likely fit it. And as I said before, you do have plenty of storage space in here as well. To my right, you have almost a floor to ceiling pantry with adjustable shelving, and that goes all the way to the back wall. So plenty of space in there to store all of your food. And then above your L-shaped countertop here, You've got storage next to the sink on the right hand side and you have storage next to the sink on the left hand side. Lastly, below the kitchen, you do have drawer space to the left and right. So you really can't go wrong with the amount of storage space you have in this kitchen. Above the ceramic sink here, you'll notice one of my favorite things to have in any kitchen, which is a window to look out while you're doing your work and against the wall above the kitchen counter in three different spots you have plugins so you can plug in your appliances. Another thing I'll mention about the specs of this floor plan is the light colored floor and the white walls and the windows bringing in all the natural light. This space is already really large with the 12 foot wide floor plan, but having the light colors and the light coming through the windows makes it feel that much bigger. While we're in the kitchen, I'm sure you've noticed we have a little table in the middle here. However, this probably wouldn't suffice if you're having a dinner party. So you could, given the space here, fit a bigger table here and have a couple chairs around it instead of this little guy here. And once you finish dinner and entertaining your guests, you can make your way over to the living room. What's great about having a floor plan this size is that you can have the living room and the kitchen in the same space, but dedicate enough space to each room where you feel comfortable in it. What I mean is the kitchen has enough storage and prep space for all of your needs, and when you come to the living room, you can still fit a full-size couch in here, an ottoman or a coffee table in the middle, and you still have a fireplace and a spot for your TV on the wall. And having a 12-foot width gives you plenty of comfortable space to separate you between the TV and the couch, and I really like that. In addition to that, you still have enough space in this room to add one or two more chairs to accommodate more people. To my left, up on the wall here, is the first of two mini split heating and cooling systems. So that's gonna both heat the home and cool the home. In addition to these two systems, you do also have in-wall heat registers as a secondary source of heat in this home. Now, as we make our way to the very front of the home, we're gonna arrive at the first of the two bedrooms. Let's take a look. All right, welcome to bedroom number one. So as you can see, this bedroom does have a baby crib in it. However, you do have enough room in here to fit a queen or even a king size bed if you wanted. The beauty of this room is that you have three individual windows, one super large one off to my left here. Behind you guys is another sliding window. And then up top, you have a third sliding window. In here, you'll also have a heat register in the wall that I just previously spoke about. And across from me here, a really large wardrobe to store all of your clothing in. Now, as we travel towards the front of the home, we'll end up in this little hallway. And in here, as you can see, this is gonna be your laundry setup. So right down next to you against the floor there, you're gonna have a two-in-one combo unit. So that's gonna be responsible for both washing your clothes and for drying your clothes. But you can probably notice that there's plenty of space above it here. So if you're someone who would be interested in having a stacking laundry and washer one on the other, you can also have that combo unit installed here as well. 
What I really love about this space is that you have overhead cabinets for all of your laundry storage. You've got a nice big countertop here to do all of your folding. And because you have the combo unit down here, I would hang a hanging rod up there so I could hang laundry that I don't want dried in the machine. Below the countertop, we have a couple more cabinet doors. So the first one to the left of the washer, a little bit more storage below here. And because this home was optioned with a bathtub, that means it came with a hot water heater. So you have an electric hot water heater that does take up what otherwise would be storage space. But again, if you want a bathtub, you gotta have one of these. Now next up, conveniently located across from the laundry room is the bathroom. Let's check it out. The bathroom is gonna be your typical layout. Obviously you have a vanity, a little bit of storage below, mirror on the wall. This home was optioned with a composting toilet, but again, this is something that could be swapped out for your regular residential flush toilet. And finally, over to my left, obviously you can see this is where your bathtub is. And last but not least, you have the master bedroom. So in here, once again, you can fit either a queen size or a king size bed. And to my left here, you have a dual wardrobe. So same size as the one in the first room, just now you have two. Right now, both of these are set up for hanging clothing, but of course inside you can install shelving units as well. Just above the entry door here, you have your second mini split heating and cooling system and you also have an in-wall heat register at the foot of the bed as well. Once again, likely my favorite part about this room are all the windows. So you have a window on the door leading to the outside, two more sliding windows on the same wall, and then one of these large windows above the head of the bed here as well. I must say, I love the interior colors of this build. I love the shed style roof, and the fact that you have over 500 square feet of living space makes me feel like this is something I could actually live in. If you're someone who's looking for more details, I've left all the information you'll need down below in the description. And I'm curious as to what you guys think about this home. Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I hope you consider doing so. As always, thanks so much for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.